What's up YouTube, Chris Ramsey here. Thanks for tuning in once again and uh, sorry for the long delay on the posts. I've been quite busy, but I've brought you guys some goodies. So today I'm gonna teach you a cool one card production that looks like this. It can be done uh, once the card is in palm, you can produce a single playing card so it looks really flashy and it's quite easy to learn. It's a bit of a knack, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Uh, there's many things that you can do with this. There's a single card production that you can do, multiple card production. You could also use this as a thought of card. That's kind of what I do. So they think of a card and they try to push the memory on you or the thought on you and you ask them to throw it towards you and they, as they do, you, you catch their thought of card. So I'm gonna teach you how to get into that and how to perform that. So let's, uh, let's, let's do that now. Yeah, let's do that now. So let's get into learning this thing. By the way, I'm using the new David Blaine Black Lions playing cards. These are really dope. They're nice. They look good. They feel great. Oh yeah. Okay. So for this, you'll be needing uh, one card. So get your one card ready. All right, so once you have that one card, this is what's going to happen. You're going to put the card in palm. And when you palm, by the way, a lot of people tend to palm like this. Like you need to like death grip the card. Palm actually only happens between this here and this here. So the pinky and that, and that's what a palm should look like. It should almost look like your hand is completely straight open. And that's all you should be doing. These hands, these fingers should just be relaxed. And that's what a palm should look like. All right. So once you're there, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna bow the card like that, okay? And the way that works, this is how I do it. The inside of my palm is gonna flex out while the pinky pushes down and pulls back. Now you see how that bow is created? Let's do that again. So from here, it looks like that. And from here, you push down and pinky goes back, so you're curling you're curling the pinky back and your palm is going out. So that's basically what you're doing. Okay. So once you feel that bubble, your thumb and index here are basically going to be the ones that are going to... Let's try that again. Are basically going to be the ones to catch the card. So you really have to make it look like you're plucking it out of thin air. Um, you don't want it to look like like that, because that's kind of that's kind of terrible. What you want it to look like is really at the tip of your fingers, kind of like you're you're pulling it out of thin air. Okay? And the more you practice this, obviously, the the faster the faster you're going to get, and the more cards you're going to draw. And that's just something that comes with learning card magic. So. Thumb, after you've beveled and bowed the card, the thumb is going to come behind and the index is going to come here, right? So basically what's happening right now is that I'm only touching it with the pinky and the thumb and the thumb comes behind, boom, right? So very, very simple. All you're doing here is you're letting go of everything and your, your thumb is pushing upwards. Now, the more you do this, the more sort of the card is going to want to spin. Sometimes it'll fly out of your hand, but to control that, you really got to time it well. Um, but that little spin is very, very nice. It happens at the end of the fingertips and it looks really magical from the front. It looks like you're, it's kind of hard to do at this angle, but I'll try. So it looks like it's really appearing in nowhere. And to help that, you can get the action of pulling your wrist back, like you're plucking something out of thin air. So, just like that. And so from here, that's what you're doing. I see how my fingers, they open up. They will open up because I wanna show clearly that my hand is empty, and it creates the illusion that I just plucked something out of thin air as opposed to doing this, right? So it's just the index and thumb. Once you're here, okay? So you're here. Everything's closed. You can hold it at this point with your middle and ring as well because you're just bowing it. But as soon as, as soon as you clip it between the thumb and the index, the other fingers open up, right? So you're here, just 
just like that. Uh, a cool thing you can do with this, this is something I do casually from time to time, is the spectator will think of a card. So you have them, let's say you have them look at a card, so they say stop wherever, and they look at that card. Let's say this is the uh, Five of Diamonds. Okay, so the Five of Diamonds gets lost somewhere in the deck. Uh, once you do that, you control the card at the top, so by the means of pass or whatever you want to do. And once it's on top, you top palm and you put the deck down. And now you say, I want you to think of your card. I want you to actually to send me your thoughts. Actually pluck it out of your mind and throw it to me. See if you can do that. Now they do this and then you catch it. So it's a very, very magical thing uh, for them. They're merely thinking of a card that they saw and now they're plucking it from their imagination and, and throwing it towards you. Now you physically catch it, which is really cool. So once again, all you have to do for that is just peek, control it, whatever, um, however you want to get it to the top of the deck is fine. Um, I like using this because it's very much hands off. So once again, the eight of spades, dribble it down, keep that break and control it to the top. Once it's on top, you want to, uh, you want to top palm. And now, boom, okay. So whatever you want to use that for is fine, I think it's best used just as a sort of funny thing to do, just a cool badass thing to do as you produce a card, you use business cards with uh, all sorts of rectangular objects that are flexible. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was the pop out move. And uh, yeah, practice it well, take your time, learn it properly, and we'll see you next time. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I especially hope that you put the time in to practice this and to make it look right. I don't wanna see any crappy Instagram videos of you producing a card like this and you gotta really, it's gotta really be at the fingertips, give it the time it deserves, but once you do put the effort in, it will pay off. So thanks again, thumbs up this video. If you liked it, share it with your friends and we'll see you next time. Peace out.